Hello and welcome to a new video about control engineering. Last time we heard something about adjustments according to Ziegler and Nichols. This time we want, I want to tell you something about adjustments of Kean, Resswing and Horner. Uh, they are more complex. Uh, I show you simply what I mean. Okay, so let's remember what a system might which parameter system might have? Have? Has? System? Which parameters are there? Yeah. Here's the time. Yeah. And here we say to analyze a system, we may do a reference variable jump. Yeah. So there is a y from t. Yeah. And this y from t is at a certain value. Hmm. And at a certain point in time, we jump to a new y from t. Yeah. This would be a reference variable jump. Okay. And what we are looking at is how the system, the controlled variable, is reacting. Okay. So usually there is something, yeah, it stays constant. Yeah. And beginning at the jump, at the input, we will start to do something. Yeah? And probably it might look like that. Yeah? That we then here reach a new stable value, yeah? if it's a stable system. Then we do have here the new stable value, which is corresponding to the new value of the of the correcting variable and we have the old one so we here we have a certain movement okay and also here we made a certain certain change delta y yeah? and this delta x here yeah? this is actually the gain factor of the system multiplied by delta y. So this is the gain factor of the system. And here we usually have a point of inflection. There is also an inflection tangent somehow. Then we can give here a delay time, usually called du. And here We have a rise time, dg, and those are the parameters, the three people, yeah, Keynes, Horns and Reswick, are taking. Yeah? So they want to have this ks, yeah? they want to have the du and the dg, and they say with ks, du, the delay time, the, the this is the gain factor of the system, the delay time and the rise time. With these three parameters, we are going to determine what the controller parameters need to be. Okay. They said, okay, there are some rules to do this. Yeah. And, well, I show you the rules on the computer. Those rules, they found out in experimental way, I guess. I'm not sure how, re how they really did it, but they said these are the rules. This is the rule set. It's a whole set. Yeah? So there is a characteristic variable which is called x, which will be calculated out of all those times and, and, and constants and so on. And then we do differ between the type of controller used. So there are as a set of parameters for a P controller, for a PI controller, and a PID controller. Of course, the parameters are always different. Eh? For the P controller, it's just the proportional gain. For the PI controller, it's proportional gain and the and the integration time. Yeah? And for the PID controller, well, also also the, the derivation time is there. Yeah? And they said we are also deferring in case in different different cases. Yeah? So we make one case where we allow up to 20% overswing. Okay? 
this is the left or the middle part of this. Yeah? And then there is one case where we say, okay, it shall be a periodic, yeah? no overswing at all. Yeah? And then the Störung is German, means uh, disturbance, and this Führung is also German, of course, and this means reference. So these are the set of parameters which needs to be taken, taken if you allow 20% overswing and have a focus on disturbance transfer function. Okay, so if disturbance is your main focus, use these parameters. If reference transfer function is your main focus, use these parameters. If you want to have it aperiodic, this Störung is again the disturbance, the Führung is again the, the reference variable, yeah? use these parameters. Yeah? You see, these are significantly smaller than this one. Remember, yeah, phase reserve and so on, yeah, of course, if you want to have less overswing, you have to be slower in timing. Yeah? Also here you see it's, it, this is just dg and this is 20% more than dg. Hmm? This is the thing, this goes through gentlemen, data mine, that's it, okay? That's enough. And enough for this series of video about contour engineering, I think it's enough. Yeah? If you understood this, what I've told you in this series of video, then you're very, very well prepared yeah, for your career as a control engineer. If you like that, yeah? control engineering is a field which can be tremendously complex because there are tremendously complex systems out there, then those things, those things I just explained are pretty much the basics. Yeah? You have to, to, to extend it here and there yeah, for, for more complex field of applications, but it's always possible. And since it is that a complex field, you can really spend a lifetime in this field and never stop learning, what is quite interesting, you must say. So, if you, if you want to dig in deeper, dig in deeper, the basics are now there, yeah? should be there, let's say. Yeah? Uh, for me it was fun talking about this, since this was my professional life before I got a teacher. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Yeah? So, yeah, there's nothing much left to say then. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.